open my orientation and the discussion of the syllabus on your group. Tama po ba? Not yet po po. Ah, hindi pa ako nakadiscuss ng syllabus? Yes po ma'am. Ngayon lang po yung bali po first meeting po natin po. Ah, okay. So, sige, sige, wait. Thank you po. Ilipat ko lang. Pa pero you have your, ano, with you, uh, design tables. Yes po ma'am. Okay, sige, sige. Palit lang ako ng, ano, I thought nakapag-orientation na ako sa inyo. Sige, sige, wait lang ha. course information syllabus okay so this is our first meeting so i will be discussing to you all about uh, what is the course all about and all uh, course policies okay so that you would be uh, guided all throughout the semester and you would also know how are you uh, going to obtain yung magiging output po natin at the end of the semester Semester, okay, so this is simply setting the tone for the entire semester for our uh, course. Okay, so kung my questions po tayo, just simply raise your hand po, okay, for you to be acknowledged. Okay, so pakinggan lang po sana natin ng maayos. Okay, so we have here uh, our uh, course code is ME418 and the course title is Machine Design 1. Okay. Ano po ba yung machine design one? Okay. So, this is categorized under the professional mechanical engineering course. Okay. So, kung sinabi po natin na professional mechanical engineering course, okay, as stated po dito sa ating reference CMO, CMO 97, series of 2017, okay, it is under po a professional course. Meaning, okay, so sa ating pong board examination, it is one particular area, okay. So, sa board exam po ng ME, okay, tatlo lang pong areas na naka-define doon. One is uh, mathematics and basic sciences. The second one would be power and industrial plant. At yung pangatlo po is yung machine design, okay? So, tatlo lang po siya. Yun po mga courses natin sa curriculum. So, you will be grouping them po into these three major areas, Okay? na kasama po dun sa ating board examination. So, yung pong machine design, along with it po, would be yung design 1, design 2, okay, kasama rin po dyan yung atin na uh, materials engineering and so as po yung ating mechanics of deformable bodies as its basic. Okay? Pag sinabi naman po natin na mathematics and uh, basic sciences, so ang kasama po dyan would be yung mga engineering eco, okay, numerical, we have po yung mga DE, okay, so yun, uh, even po yung ating mga physics, okay, and other sciences po, yun po yung kasama. And then the last area po would be power and industrial plant, of course, we have the PPD, the IPE, yung po mga fluid make, okay, so under po niyan, and even the thermodynamics, okay, so yun po yung isang area. So to comprise 30% po, okay, nan po ang atin na uh, sa board exam result would be this uh, ma machine design, okay. So all topics po sa machine design, they are divided into two, okay. Okay, kaya po meron tayong machine design 1 at saka po machine design 2. Okay? We are designing here po okay, different mechanical components. Ano ba yung mga mechanical components na iyon? So we have uh, the gears, the shaft, we have the pulley, okay? key, yan. Yan po yung mga samples ng ating uh, mga 
uh, mechanical components. Okay? So, pag po kayo narinig noong machine design, okay, ano po ba yung common connotation natin? Anyone? Halimbawa, o oh, narinig mo yung machine design, ano kayong ibig sabihin ninyo? Aldrich? Hello? Narinig ba ako? Yes po, ma'am. Okay. So, I'm calling, ano, Mr. Aldrich? Wala po ba? Si Mr. Barcelos? Hello? Oh, Mr. Adrian? Um, ano po, ma'am? Pag po machine design is ang pumapasok po agad sa... Isip ko ay yan pong mga girls po. So, pagdi-design po nung mga sa makina po. Okay, pagdi-design po nung sa mga makina. Ano kaya pag sinabi natin design? Ano kaya in particular? Yun pong ating gagawin. Miss uh, Angela? Hello, Miss Angela? Hello po, good morning po. Yes po. Pwede po pa ulit ng question. So, pag sinabi po natin, pag sinabi po natin na design, ano po kaya yung gagawin natin? Basically, pag sinabi natin na design, ano yung i-design natin? Aside from the mechanical component, o anong gagawin natin to this component? Pag design po ng cam and gears, pagko-compute po. So, ano ang i-compute natin in particular? Cam and gears. Okay, so we are pertaining to the particular uh, uh, mechanical component. Okay, pero pag sinabi po natin ng design, okay, ano po ang common connotation ng, ng marami? This is mainly... Uh, drafting or drawing of the mechanical component but then this is really not po drawing okay hindi po ito drawing course or drafting course okay when we say the word design we are after po the most suitable dimension okay yun po yung design natin dito so this is computational design po we are the most uh, we are to determine the most appropriate dimension of a mechanical component okay yan po yung tatandaan natin so hindi po ito katulad ng sa mga architecture that they are really after kung ano ba yung magiging itsura Okay? In the drawing nila, ano yung magiging itsura, ano yung perspective nung, uh, nung structure na dinidesign nila. Okay? So, hindi po yun. Again, when we say mechanical design po, we are after the most appropriate dimension of the mechanical component. Okay? So, yan po yung tatandaan natin. That makes us different po from architectural design. Okay? Now, as a prerequisite of the subject, you should have passed ME412 and ME413. O, ano ba yung 412? Daniel? That is ME412. Pampot nga po ng tanong po. O, ano po yung ME412? Yung pong machine elements po. Machine elements, tama, okay? So, uh, I know that everybody here, okay, ay nakapasa na nung ME412. So, magagaling pala ang lahat ng naan dito. Uh, lucky enough that you have passed yung uh, design of uh, machine elements, okay? And then, what is ME413, Miss Ivy? Miss Ivy? Wala po ba? Hello. Hello po. Um, and then, for what po? Yes. Ano yung ME413 na? Hello. Ano po? Materials. That would be materials engineering and testing. Okay, Miss Ivy, lipat ikaw nanti yuk ini ha. Oh, para hindi maingai. 
ano para tayo magkaintindihan ha okay so we have here po M413 is materials engineering testing you have to pass these two courses first before you can enroll machine design one okay so ano po ang kailangan natin doon sa dalawang iyon ME413 okay will talk about the different types of material okay so along with our design po kasi we will be identifying kung ano yung uh, material properties na kailangan natin. Anong specific particular na material ang gagamitin natin para doon sa component. So, pipiliin po natin. Okay? We will be selecting kung anong material yung mas appropriate gamitin for that particular application. Okay? Kaya po, need natin yung ME413. Okay? The second one po is ME412, which is machine elements. So, ano po ba yung diniscuss natin doon sa machine elements? Ano ba yung natutunan mo doon sa machine elements, Justin? Justin Kayabyab. Yung po mga type po ng materials na pwede pong gamitin po sa industry, tsaka po kung yung pong mga load po na na-apply po sa mga materials na That is C413. I said 412 anak, yung machine elements. Ano ba ang diniscuss doon sa machine elements, Bunso? Pag-compute po ng velocity acceleration. Okay. So, these are velocity, acceleration, analysis. Doon pong iba-ibang klase ng mechanical component. Okay? Or sa halimbawa, we have the gears. Okay? We have yung shaft. Yan. So, ang doon po nakita natin sa elements, we we look for the number of uh, gears. For example, ilan ba yung teeth na kailangan. Okay? And then we draw. And then we have the velocity analysis. Okay? So, iyan po yung mga ginawa. So, dito po, ang gagawin po natin saan, with this mechanical equipment, Okay, ang hahanapin natin are their dimensions, okay, given or uh, selecting the ta uh, tamang material and then ano yung dimension na dapat natin i-incorporate sa kanya, okay. So, yan po yung uh, atin sa design, pagsasamahin po natin yung dalawang iyon, okay. So, if you have come across po doon sa... Uh, yung construction po saan, sa atin sa uh, may Valanta, sa may Rotonda, you would see there po yung mga beams natin okay, na ginagawa pag, uh, pag uh, gawa ng tulay. Okay? And then you see there po yung mga reinforcement bars. Okay? So nakikita natin yung mga reinforcement bars natin doon of different sizes. Okay? So dito sa design, yun yung gilitin na natin. Tama ba yung size na ginamit nila. Makikita nyo, ay iba-iba laki nung, ano, nung bakal. Bakit kaya iba-iba yung laki? It is true, yung design natin, kinompute, it should bear this dimension. Okay? So, kasi pag mali po yung ating design, ibig sabihin, ang posible magkaroon ng aksidente. No? Kaya minsan pag sabi, ay nagkaroon ng, ano, ng failure ng tulay. Okay? Bumagsak yung tulay o bumagsak yung ganitong structure, anong sinasabi? They make use of substandard material. Okay? Meaning, mali yung sizes ng mga bakal na ginamit or mali specifically yung material na kinonsider. Okay? So, yun yung iniiwasan natin dito. Okay? So, we are after the safety of everybody. Okay? We should ensure yung safety no ating dinidesign na mechanical equipment or component. Okay? So, yun po yung focus dito sa machine design one. Now, under prerequisite, although hindi po nakasulat dito, ito lang dalawa yung nakalagay. Okay? And Another prerequisite of the course is your mechanics of deformable bodies, okay? Which I believe this is offered on your second year level, second semester, okay? So, bakit po hindi na naka-indicate dito sa prerequisite natin yung mechanics of deformable? It is because for materials engineering testing, ME413, yun po yung kanyang um, prerequisite, okay? So, ibig sabihin, 
you have all passed yung ano natin, yung deformable. Okay? So, what do we need on this deformable body? Ano bang mga inaral natin doon sa mechanics of deformable bodies? So, dapat atin pong babalik-balikan ulit yung mga uh, nauna natin po na topics. Okay? Nauna natin ang mga courses na tinig sa curriculum. Kasi gagamitin po iyan as we go on with yun pong mga courses natin in the curriculum doon sa mga latter years. Okay? So, ano ba yung meron tayo doon kung may naaalala ka pa? O Ken Calvin. Mr. Ken Calvin. Hello? Wala po? Yung mga stresses po. Okay, so we have there the stresses. Okay, so iba-ibang type ng stresses sa financier po natin doon. Okay, we have also what we call yung mga strain. Okay, so may kanya-kanya din klase ng stresses and yung strain. So mamaya babalikan natin. So try to think of yung mga types of stresses that we consider ng ating mechanics of deformable bodies. Okay, so yan po yung mga prerequisite ng ating machine design one, okay? For you to be able to solve problems in design one, dapat po yung knowledge doon sa tatlong courses na iyon, intact pa po sa atin. So, kung nakakalikalimutan pa na po natin, ay dibalikan po natin yung mga notes po natin doon, okay? So, this design one is a three uh, unit course, okay? So, Describe as all lecture. Okay, so sa buong uh, week po, we are to meet po three hours per week. Okay, three hours per week. So it is divided into two meetings po. Okay, dalawa pong meeting, both 1.5 hours. Okay, so on my schedule po, try to check na lang din po if it conforms with yours. Okay. For section 3203, we have Monday 10 to 11.30 and then we have Tuesday 3 to 4.30. Tama po ba? The same po ma'am. Okay, good. So, this is a combination po of yung face-to-face -face at saka po yung online, okay? Alin po yung ating face-to-face -face class? Yun po yung Monday 10 to 11.30, okay? At room 207, kapag po ad weeks, okay? So, now is an even week, kaya po we meet online. So, online po siya kapag even, kapag ad weeks po, we are to meet face to face at room 207, okay? So, yun po yung atin na scan. But then yung pong Tuesday natin na 3 to 4.30, it will always be po online. Okay? So, iyan po yung atin na schedule. So, 3 hours per week po. Okay? Now, so the entire uh, semester po, it is uh, uh, ano po, composed of 18 weeks. Okay? So, 18 weeks po natin bago makompleto yung lahat ng topics Okay, dito po sa design one. Okay, so machine design one is offered on the second semester of your third year level. Okay, so yeah, third year level, second semester. Now, what is basically the difference between this design one at saka po design two? So sa design one po, okay, ito po would be focused on specific uh, mechanical component. Okay? The first part po, medyo general. Okay? At yung second part, specific po to shaft, yung gear design, pressure vessel, keys, and coupling. Okay? So, specific na po yung later part niya. Kung anong uh, mechanical equipment or component ang i-design po natin. But then the first part, general po yon. 
materials in general. Okay, if you are designing a material under different types of loads or forces. Okay, when we say naman po design 2, so continuation po yan ng design 1. So, ito po, lahat na is specific component na. Halimbawa, design ng wire rope, design ng conveyor, okay, design po ng uh, conveyor, okay? So, iyan po yung mga uh, particular na element na i-design po natin. So, hinati lang po yung dalawa, okay? Now, so, as the course instructor po, I will be your instructor po here at Design 1, okay? So, together with me po uh, to handle the course po for other uh, sections would be in general uh, kabases, okay? So, kami pong dalawa yung mag-handle po nung atin po na Design 1. This is, uh, can be taught only since this is a professional course, okay? So, the design can be uh, taught only by uh, graduate of a master's uh, having a master's degree o kaya naman po PME okay so I'm a graduate po of M uh, master of engineering major in mechanical engineering okay and at present taking up my PhD in uh, material science and engineering at Mapuba okay whereas uh, Sir Joel naman po is a professional mechanical engineer okay so only the two of all the faculty members can handle this particular course. So, meron po yung uh, qualification, okay, in reference po dito sa ating CMO 97 series of 27. So, hindi po tayo pwedeng mamili. Kami lang pong dalawa yung pamimilian. Okay? Now, so, for your uh, contact numbers po, okay, so I have here po my contact number. Ma'am, excuse po, nawala po kayo. Thank you po. Yes po, ma'am. Okay. Okay, so, uh, to continue, okay, so, again, so what is uh, machine design? Again, this is finding the most suitable dimension of the machine member. Take into account lahat po ng forces, it handles, and so as, yun po material specification. Okay, so that's that what makes it different from uh, yung architectural design. Okay, so yun po ang focus natin dito. Okay, now, so this is a three-hour lecture, and then for the criteria for assessment, we have here po yung apat, okay? So, the first one, you have there the midterm examination, okay? Ito midterm. And then you have there, uh, the second one, we have yung final exam, okay? And then you have three is quizzes, and then last one would be the design works, okay? So, yun po yung apat. So, midterm and final exam, okay, this comprises 50% of your uh, grade, okay? So, equal weight po yung dalawa, 25% para sa midterm and 25% para sa final exam, okay? So, uh, the conduct po nung exams natin, okay, departmentalize po yan, okay? So, you simply check po yung schedule ng midterm at yung finals po natin. And saan po bang day, okay, included yung design one, 
okay? Please, please, please po, make sure you will be available during the schedule date, okay? Mahirap po mag-schedule ng panibagong exam just for one or two na nag-absent po, okay? You will not be given a special examination po, okay? If hindi po tayo nakakuha on the schedule date, not unless po very valid room na reason, okay? Now, this sa uh, midterm examination po, okay, that weighs 100 points each, okay? 100 points for midterm, 100 points para sa final exam, okay? And ang input po natin on our class record would be by the raw score, okay? So, kung ano po yung makuha natin na ng, uh, points doon sa uh, midterm o sa finals, yun po yung ating input on the class record. So, halimbawa po sa midterm po, you obtain your 60 points over 100. So, input po natin to the class record would be 60. Okay? Kung finals naman po, we obtain 20 points over 100. So, yun po yung input natin, no? 20. Hindi po natin yun transmute pa. Okay? Or i-percentage i yung mga results po natin. Okay? So, ito po midterms at saka finals, ang coverage po niya would be yung topic lang na na-discuss within the particular period. Okay? Kung ano lang po yung topic sa so, mga simula hanggang bago mag-midterm po tayo, yun po yung coverage niya. Even the finals po, ganun din po. Okay? But then, for finals po, there are uh, equations or topics related doon sa yung nando sa final na nagmula doon sa midterm. Kaya dapat din po alam pa rin natin yung uh, diniscuss doon sa midterm because they will be carried over doon po sa finals natin. Okay? So, kaya po uh, dapat alam pa rin natin. Although kahit hindi siya na talaga yung, yung topic doon, yung meron po tayong mga mga uh, values or equations na gagamitin pa rin po natin on the finals. Okay? So, iyan po. Now, this uh, midterm and final exam, okay, lahat po yan ay problem solving. Okay? Okay? Lahat po yan ay problem solving. Okay? So, the number of points po allotted per pro problem, yan po yung naka-indicate na sa ating test questionnaire. Okay, so during example, you will be given a test questionnaire at saka po yung answer sheets. Okay, so naka-indicate na po the test questionnaire natin. Say problem 1, 30 points or problem 2, 10 points. Okay, so yung number of points po na nakalagay doon, ibig sabihin po noon, that is dependent on the complexity of the problem. Okay, kung madami po unknown doon sa problem, Okay, di mas madami po yung points na inaalat po. In case po na halimbawa walang nakalagay na points per problem, ibig sabihin po the entire 100 points will be divided equally to the number of problems. Okay, yun po ay kung wala po nakalagay na points doon sa mga problems po na uh, para doon sa atin examination. Okay? Now, so uh, all of these po are problem solving. So you will be given po again a questionnaire and an answer sheet. Okay, so sa questionnaire po, lalagyan lang po natin yun ang pangalan po natin. Okay, but then all answers po, all solutions po will be presented po or written doon sa atin na answer sheet. Okay, so sa answer sheet po ilalagay lahat. You utilize only the front pages. Okay, makinig po tayo ha. Para po during exam ay wala pong tanong ng tanong dahil hindi po po sasagot na. Kaya po meron tayong orientation para uh, matatandaan nyo na lahat. Okay, so during the ano po, you have the, uh, your, uh, answer sheet, you utilize only the front pages for your solution. Okay? Doon lang po natin isusulat sa mga unahan. 
ng papel. Okay? Yun pong mga likuran ng kada sheet okay, uh, ng papel po natin, okay, yun po ay assume to be your scratch papers. So, I will not own your book, okay, solutions written at the back. Okay? Kaya huwag po tayo maglalagay ng solution sa likod. Sa mga unahan lang po natin, ilalagay. Kung naubos na po yung lahat ng sheets okay, natin, okay, you may ask po your proctor, you may approach me po for additional sheets. Okay? At doon po tayo uli magsusulat. Hindi po yung reason para sulatan natin yung likod. Again, yung pong likod, pwede lang pong gamitin for scratch papers. Okay? So, wala po ako doon imamark na solution ninyo. Okay? Nariwanag po ba tayo doon? Yes, ma'am. Okay, good. Okay, so for uh, problem solving po, okay, hindi po ito katulad ng mga nauna natin na courses na ang structure po pag susolve ay you have there the given and then you have there the unknown and then yung pong equation and then solution. So, hindi po. Okay? Hindi po yun ganito. Okay? Dito po sa design one, meron po tayong procedure na talagang susundin. Okay? May design procedure po iyon na sinusunod at yun po ang i-observe natin okay? As we solve problems, okay? Dito sa design. Whether it's on the examination or the design works or seat works, yan po lahat ang ating susundin. Okay? So, iba po iyon kesa dun sa usual nating nakasanayan. Okay? I will be checking your design procedure. Okay? How you present po your solution using the design procedure. Okay? So, yung design procedure po na yan, malalaman nyo naman as we go on with our lecture as we set samples on how to solve problems. So, dun yung po matututunan. Okay? So, yun po ay tinitingnan sa inyong solution. So, failure to uh, follow this design procedures, okay? So, hindi po tayo mabibigyan ng credit doon sa problem. Okay? Now, even po doon sa ating mga final answers, okay? Ano pong gagawin doon sa final answers? Final answers should always be boxed, okay? So, lalagyan po natin ng box yung final answers natin. Now, for this final answers, laging ang tanong dyan kapag isa, Ma'am, ilan ka pong decimal places? Ma'am, ilan ka po ganyan-ganyan, okay? Ano po ang ating sagot dyan? wala na po uli magtatanong yan during examination. Okay? So, you express your final answer to three decimal places. Again, express answers to three decimal places. Okay? And what is again the difference nito po sa ibang courses? Sa design po, alimbawa, you're asked to find the diameter, the dimension. Say, nasolve po natin the computed value. Diameter is equal to 1.235 inches. Okay? Kasi 3 decimal places. 1.235 inches. Yan. Yun po ay computed value natin using our calculator. Okay? Pero, yan po sa design, hindi pa po yan mabibigyan ng credit. Okay? Sa design po, ang ginagawa natin, if we are looking for dimension, along with it is expressing it to what we call standard or commercially available size. Okay? So, yun po ang tatandaan natin. Kapag pinapahanap po sa atin is the dimension, we have to express our final answer to the standard size or to the commercially available size. Parte po yan ang design. Kasi yung diameter po na 1.235, for example, yan, yun po yung sagot nyo, 1.235 inches according to your computation. 
Okay? You have to convert that po to the standard size para mabigyan ka po ng credit. Okay? Para mabigay sa iyo yung total points for the problem. Okay? Kasi sasama po yan sa design. Expressing your answer to commercially available. Kasi pag sinabi natin design, ay ito na yung gagamitin ko. You will be using that value. So if you go to the market, you go to the industry, wala kang makikita na 1.235 inches na diameter. Okay? So what is available? Yung 1 inch, 1 and 1 fourth, 1 and 1 half. So doon tayo ngayon pipili. Kung alin po ang tamang gamitin, with this standard sizes. Okay? So, yun po yung tatandaan natin. Okay? Computed value to be expressed to three decimal places and then to be given the total credit, it should be converted to the standard size or the commercially available size. Maliwanag po ba yun? Yes po mo. Okay ha, do you know, wala na po tayo sa ating magtatanong during examination, during our design works, yun na po yung mga uh, atin po mga paliwanan dyan. Yan na po yung mga ating dapat gawin. Okay? Now, so, what else? So, for this uh, examination, okay, another is open tables po tayo kapag uh, examinations, okay? You have your copies of your uh, design tables, okay? So, may kanya-kanya na po. I hope everybody ay meron na po. I think I have issued 43. Tama ba? Ma'am, yes po. Issued po yung 43 po. Pero po, ah. man, so kung ito na po kasing dumagdag na 40, then yung isa po is wala para yung pong copy. So, so meaning? Kulang, kulang pa po kami yung isa pong copy po. Ah, hindi. 45 kayo in my class. So, may yes, kulang pa na dalawa. Okay. Bali, yung isa daw pong 40 po is meron na daw po siyang machine design table po. Bali po Bakit? Yung isa... Take two ba siya? Um, di ko lang rin po, sir. Tapos ko lang rin po. Okay, so papasoyin na lang ako, okay? So, again, so yung design table, so I ask you if in, um, yung, yung copy ninyo, na makuha yung copy, you simply put in your name po doon, okay? So name lang po ang ilalagay dyan. Not on this, may ipadagdag po ako, pero other than that po, wala na po tayong ilalagay, okay? Kasi nga po, yan po ay gagamitin natin during exams din. Okay, kaya dapat wala pong nakasulat saan na kahit na ano, okay, bukod sa inyong pangalan. Okay, now it is check po tubing exam. Okay, so check po yung table natin kung may nakasulat. Another thing, tinitingnan din po kung may nakasinit saan na papel. Whether it's related to MD1 or not. Okay, pag may nakasingit po siya na papel, okay, kukunin po yung ating tables na yan. Okay, so wala ka po magagamit, okay, during the exam. Okay, kaya bago po mag-start ng exam, i-check nyo na po, baka kasi may napasingit saan o may naisulat po saan. Okay, dapat po ay malinis na malinis. Otherwise, again, kukunin sa inyo yung copy ng design table. Okay? Or worse, hindi na kayo pakuhanin yung examination. Okay? So, yan. Uh, kaya po para maiwasan yun, bago po mag-exam, i-check na po natin. Okay? So, pag wala po tayo ng design tables na yan, hindi po tayo makakasun yung mga problems. Because data, yung properties po, dyan po natin kinukuha. Dyan sa mga tables po na yan. Okay? So, yun po yung para sa uh, exams po natin. And another po, do not use po pala pencil, okay? In presenting your solutions, okay? Again, you use po ball pen ang gagamitin po sa pag-compute, pag-show ng solution. Okay? So, iyan po. Uh, huh? And then we have po uh, quizzes. Okay? Ano naman po yung quizzes? Okay? So, we have here po dalawa. Okay? Na quizzes. 
So, before po the conduct of the midterms and the finals, magkakaroon po tayo ng quizzes. Ano naman po itong quizzes na to? Okay. So, so, for example, it has been observed that there are machine design terms. Okay. So, yung design terms po, yun po ang ating ilalatay doon sa quizzes. Okay. So, uh, uugaliin po natin na magbasa ng mga terms sa machine design. So, you can refer to our textbook. You can refer to the references cited kung dito sa ating syllabus. Or you may look for other references po and reviewers on machine design terms. Okay? So, yun po yung nandito sa quizzes. Yun po yung mag-a-account mo sa quizzes. So, mostly po itong quizzes po natin, these are uh, objective types. Okay, it can be multiple choice, enumeration, identification, or any other type of na objective type. Okay, for our exam here. Okay, yung po mga pieces po natin na yan. Okay, and this comprise another 25% of your course degree. Okay, so ugaliin po natin yung magbasa ng mga terms na iyan. So sa mga Uh, uh, mga ano po natin, mga oras po natin, okay, sa halip po tayong makipagkwentuhan lamang, magbasa ng mga pakitbooks, okay, or manood ng mga anime, mas mabuti po na tayo po ay magbasa ng mga design terms, okay? This will help you naman po, okay? Hindi lang po para sa quizzes dito sa MD1, kundi eh, this will become a stock knowledge na po sa inyo, okay? Siguro pagdating nyo ng word exam, ano sasabihin nyo, ay looks fam na ako dito sa mga terms na ito. Okay? Bakit? Kasi nabasa ko na po ito doon nung ako na nag-design one. Or na-exam na, na po ito doon sa MD1. Okay? Yun ay kung tinatandaan natin yung mga binabasa po natin. Okay? So this can be administered using the regular ano po natin na examination time. But then this would be done face-to-face -face in classroom. Okay? So, pwede katulad ng uh, sa examination, okay? So, sa loob ng classroom. Pero hindi po ito departmentalized. So, ito po ay during schedule lang po ng class po natin. Okay? Hindi rin po yan sabay-sabay with other sections. Okay? So, sa class lang po natin siya gagawin. Okay? And then another thing, pwede rin po naman Okay. Pwede rin po naman aside from yung usual class uh, classroom setting or classroom setup, pwede pong in a form of a game. Okay? Pwede pong in a form of a quiz show. Okay? Wherein, oh, parang quiz show tayo sa loob ng classroom and then si ano yung ating naging scores. Okay? So, yun po yung sa quizzes. Kaya magbabasa-basa po tayo. Oh. Kakahiya naman ng zero tayo during the quizzes. Kahit isang term ay wala. Okay? So, it comprises 25% of our grade. Okay? And then last po, we have here po the design works. Okay? So, sa design works naman po. Okay? So, sa design works po, that's another 25%. Okay, this is the usual uh, set of exercises or problem sets that we have. Okay, lamang nga po. This will again, okay, follow yung design procedures. Okay, so it would be observed. So make sure po you uh, submit all this design works, okay, and you completed all this design works. Okay, so yan naman po ay i-solve lang natin. Okay, you Using yung mga samples po natin, okay, that we will be discussing, okay, so masosol po natin and this is also in preparation for our major examinations, okay. So dito po sa design, hindi ka po matututo ng nakikinig lamang, okay, yan po ang tatandaan nyo, hindi po tayo dito matututo ng nakikinig lamang, lalo na po kapag gaganito na online, okay, hindi po tayo matututo na basta lang tayo nakikinig nakikinig, okay, or kahit nasaan tayo, nasa biyahe, nakikinig lang tayo, hindi po. It is just different, okay? Because we will be using here design tables, and you really not need na kayo yung mag-compute 
okay, for the dimensions, okay? Hindi po ito uh, natututunan ng basta pinapakinggan lang, okay? Dito po uso yung recomputation, okay? Para po yung ano, nagdi-design ng, alam mo, yung sa damit, nagdi-design ka ng damit, okay? All designers may kanya-kanya na style, okay? May kanya-kanya na style. Uh, so, ganun din po dito, okay? Hindi ka matututo na unless ikaw yung gagawa, okay? Kaya dito, really, madali din ma-identify yung mga nangumopia lamang, okay? Kasi, there is a certain style na meron dapat yung kada isa, okay? And hindi mo yun pwedeng kopyahin ng salahan, okay? Ayan. So, may mga design considerations tayo dito na we really need to follow. And it comes within a range. Halimbawa, mataas masyado yung range, 1 to 100. Okay? O nandoon na pupipiliin natin, 1 to 100. It can be narrowed down to 1 to 10. So, imposible naman na yung pinili mo, okay, ay pinili ng buong klase. Okay? Kaya alam mo na there is really something wrong, okay? On your solution, pag nagpare-parehas yan, okay? Kaya sabi ko nga, hindi po ito natututunan ng basta kukopyahin at basta pakikinggan, okay? You really have to work on your own. Okay? Now, so, every klase po natin always have with you ito pong apat na ito. Okay? Lagi po, whether online tayo o kaya po face-to-face, -face, lagi nyo pong katabi. Dapat itong apat na ito. Ano po yung apat? Una, you have po yung design tables. Okay? So, lagi po yung katabi. Pangalawa po yung lecture po natin sa design. So, meron pa po akong ibibigay sa inyo na lecture manual. Okay? Yung pangatlo po, you have your calculators. And pang-apat would be yun pong uh, notebook and pen. Okay? Yan, notebook and pen. So, yun po yung kung mga considered as one set po yun. Okay? So, lagi po katabi ninyo yung apat na iyon. Okay? Whenever we have classes po sa MD1. Okay? Kaya sabi ko nga po, kung kayo ay nabiyahe, katulad ng iba dati, anong ginagawa during the online class, eh kung saan, naglolomi, nagbiyahe. Okay? So, dito po hindi pwede iyon. Okay? Bakit? Kasi we will be using the design tables. Okay? Nakakahiya na po na nasa biyahe ka ay buklat ka doon ng table tapos nag-interpolate ka ng value. Okay? Baka pasalasala yung mabasa natin doon sa table kung nandun tayo sa biyahe. So, you stay in a quiet place wherein you could really understand how we will be using this table. Okay? Oh, siguro po ay yung iba sa inyo naka na or majority sa inyo na browse na yung atin na design tables. So ang dami po diyan ng figures, mga graph, okay? So kahit po tayo ay may design tables, kung hindi po naman natin alam siyang gamitin, ay wala din pong silbi. Okay? Kaya dapat po iintindihin natin paano ba kukuha ng values dyan? Paano ba gagamitin ang mga iyan? Okay? Kaya sabi ko nga, lagi po natin yung katabi during our classes. In this design table, hindi lang po yan gagamitin dito sa design 1. Kaya yan po ay iingatan ni nyo at mamahalin. Okay? Even sa design 2 po, yan pa rin po yung inyong gagamitin. Okay? Kaya po iingatan po ninyo. Kung gusto nyo po para sulit yung gamit, pwede naman pong ilang beses nung gamitin. O ilang beses sa design, ilang beses din sa design 2. Pero huwag na po natin yung i-aim. Okay? Ang i-aim lang natin ay tama ng isa sa design 1 at isa sa design 2. Okay? So, yun na lang po yung gamit niya. Okay na po siya doon. Okay? Yan. Nakakaintindihan po pa tayo? Yes po. Yes po. Okay, yan. So, yung po mga pawala-wala sa atin na pit, yan. So, mahirap po masundan pag po tayo ay lumiban at hindi natin dala yung mga design tables po natin. Maka po hindi natin matutunan kung paano ba siya gamitin at kumuha ng values which will be needed in solving for the design problem. Okay? Yan. So, yun po yung para doon sa 
um, assessment task po natin. Okay? So, for this design bits, okay, this is to be, uh, yung copies po nito are included in our lecture manual. Okay? So, you need not to copy po yung atin pong uh, ipipresent ko dito na mga lectures. Okay? Kasi we have po our manual. Okay? So, hindi ko na rin po siya i-upload to our classroom since very limited po yung uh, uh, mem uh, storage po ng atin na classroom. So, you have the copy naman po of it doon na sa manual po natin. So, kailangan lang, uh, present ko lang po para masundan po ninyo. Siguro, I will be distributing po the manual by next week on our face-to-face -face class. Okay? So, this week po, we are focused on the use of the design tables. Okay? The familiarization of these design tables, kung paano ba siya ginagamit. Okay? Yung majority dyan on the properties of the material. Okay? So, yun po yung uh, for this week po natin. So, may question po ba tayo dito sa mga assessment task po natin? Wala po naman po. <coughs> okay. So, kung may question po hay, you simply raise your hand po para uh, makita ko. Eh, ma'am, with regards po yes, sa ano po. Yung sa fourth year po natin sa classroom po. Yung isa ah. daw po bali is second take po yun sa may first taker po. Uh, mag, ano na lang kamo sa akin? Mag PM na lang kamo sa akin ha? Thank you po. Okay, thank Bali you. po, kulo pa rin po kami na isa pa pong copy okay. po ng okay. table po. Thank you po. Okay, thank you. Now, so we have here po for our ILOs, okay? Upon completion of this course, students should be able to first solve problems involving the different types of stresses in machine elements, okay? So on your mechanics of deformable bodies, you have the different types of stresses, okay? So madami po tayo dong sinold ng mga stresses. Kaya all throughout the semester, we are really stressed, okay? You give me sample. You give me a sample po. Oh, ano bang type ng stress yung natatandaan mo, Carlos Miguel? Carlos Miguel? Um, uh, sheer stress po. Okay, so we have there the sheer stress. Tama. Okay, another one, Emmanuel. Mr. Emmanuel. Uh, Tensile stress po. Okay, correct. We have the tensile stress. Miss Janela, another one. Compressive stress po. We have the compressive stress. Last one, uh, Miss K. Um, normal stress po. We have the normal stress. Okay, so these are simple. Uh, these are different types of stresses. Okay, so each of this we call it in uh, design. Ang tawag po natin sa bawat, sa lahat ng iyan, these are called the induced stresses. Okay? So, yan po yung babalikan natin dito sa design 1. Okay? Baliktad lang po siya ng mechanics of deformable. So, deformable bodies po, you are given the dimensions. Okay? You are given the dimensions, you are given the forces, and from those, you solve for the corresponding stresses. Okay? So, sinosolve natin yung stress na meron sa material considering the loads and the dimensions. Okay? So, dito po, baliktad. Okay? Di ba sabi ko kanina, we are after finding the most suitable dimension, the most appropriate dimension. So, baliktad po. You are given here what we call design stresses. Okay? So, given design stresses, you solve for the appropriate dimension. Okay? So, baliktad. Doon sa isa, you solve for the stress. Dito naman, you solve for the dimension. Yes, um, ma'am. Excuse po. Um, tama po ba syllabus po yung nakapresent po? Yes. Ah, sige po. Thank you po. Okay. So, yun po yung ILO 1. Okay? You are dealing here with the different types of stresses in the machine elements. Okay? The second one. 
apply the design considerations, procedures, codes, manufacturers, tables, charts, and figures in designing the shaft, keys, coupling, power screws, springs, and gear. Okay? So, this is the use of our design tables. Okay? Paano ba? Ano ba yung mga design considerations natin na ginagawa? Okay? In order for us to determine the most appropriate dimension of the machine member. Okay? Next is to analyze design solutions to meet performance requirement, material properties, manufacturing aspects, availability, and cost. Okay? So, lahat ng factors na yan are being considered in the design. O halimbawa yung cost. The reason why, sabi ko sa inyo, yung final answer natin, if it's a dimension, is to be expressed on the commercially available size that is considering yung economic side. Okay? Kasama dun yung costing. Okay? Sa pagpili ng tamang material. Okay? And then last is evaluate the results of a variety of design solutions for mechanical system components. Okay? Meron po tayong nakalagay dito, variety of design solutions. Okay? So, ibig sabihin, we could have your different design options. And from the design options, yun yung pipiliin natin. Alin ba yung pinaka-tama? Okay? So, ganun po dito. Uso po dito yung recompute. Okay? So, hindi sa isang ano pa lang natin, isang solution lang natin, ay kuha na natin kaagad yung sagot. Okay? Uso po dito sa design one ang mag-recompute to come up with the most appropriate size ng member. Okay? So, yun po yung tatandaan natin. Hindi dito uh, isang shot ay tama na kaagad. Okay? Yan. So, uh, natural po dito yung mag-recompute. Okay? So, here is the distribution of your assessment task. Okay? So, ito po yung apat na banggit ko kanina. Equal weights po sila. Okay? 25% each. Okay? As map to yung minensya ko pong ILO1 hanggang ILO4. Now, this is the list po ng ating mga references. Ito po yung textbook po natin. Tapos, ito po yung ibang references that you may consult. For the design tables, that is taken from uh, fairs. Okay? Design of machine elements by fairs. So, yung copy po na in dyan sa inyo, galing po dito kay fairs. For the IGA, okay, what is being assessed po dito sa ating uh, MD1? Okay? So, yan po knowledge competence. Okay? So, how are you going to use po yung knowledge and skills required to effectively okay, uh, work po okay, on the problems? Okay? And paano po ba natin ini-integrate and ina-apply ito doon sa atin na workplace? And then, we have the SO. Same thing po. We have po um, problem analysis, okay? Identify, formulate, and solve complex engineering problems by applying principles of engineering sciences <coughs> and mathematics. And then, for the CDIO, oh, same thing. We have their uh, disciplinary knowledge and listening. And for the SDG, we have oh, <coughs> <coughs> Wait lang. Uh, we have critical thinking and reflection. For the grading system, oh, ito po yung pinakamahalaga. Para po alam natin kung ano po yung ating magiging output at the end of the semester. Okay? So, katulad po na na-mention ko kanina, you have there the four assessment tasks. Okay? Equal weight po yon of 25%. And yun pong ating input to the class record would be by the point system. Okay? So, ang kukunin po natin dyan, passing po sa point by points, okay? Passing would be 60 on the raw score. So, yung 60 points po. Okay? Yung 60 points po, yun po yung equivalent to 75%. Okay? When you transmit po yung, yung 60 points, that would be equivalent to 75%. 
and a numerical grade would be uploaded to your port to the portal equivalent to 3. Okay, yun po yung passing. So, below 70 po on the transmuted grade, you will have your grade 5. Okay? And then, if you incur a grade po, okay, a computed grade of transmuted grade of 70 to 74, okay, you will be given an appropriate remedial activity. Okay? Wherein, INC po yung mapapalagay po doon. Okay? Yung INC po really, meaning, meron po tayong incomplete na mga requirements. Okay? But then, yung incomplete requirements po, okay, yun po ay i- no notify ka na sa ito, okay? Once we have your on the ano po, uh, yung last week na po ng atin na klase, okay? Ino notify ko po kayo as to the mga incomplete po na yan, okay? So you must have a complied with all the requirements po. Otherwise, you would be graded zero, okay? Bawa ko lang ka po ng isang design po, so you would be graded zero. Okay? Kulang ka po ng midterm. So, zero ka po doon. Okay? O, kulang ka po ng uh, isang quiz. So, zero po tayo. Yun po yung mapapalagay sa atin. Okay? So, inonotify na po kayo doon just to make sure that you really do not submit for that particular assessment task. Okay? And then, uh, pag po nag-compute po tayo ng grade, considering that to be zero, if your uh, computed grade falls under this range, 70 to 74, you will be given INC po. Okay? Meaning, kinulang ka na po ng marka. Okay? Kinulang ka na po sa grade. Okay? Dapat, na-achieve mo po yung 75 for you to be able to pass the course. Okay? So, INC po kasi na dito sa range na to. Pero below that po, below 70, 5 po yung nakalagay po natin na grade. So, maliwanag po yun. Pag na-receive po natin ay INC, kinulang ka po ng grade doon. So, you will be given a remedial activity po. Okay? So, ano po yung remedial activity natin? It would be a removal examination. Okay? So, ilan pong removal na exam ang ibibigay? Isa lang pong removal exam. Okay? Bawal na po ang mag-early removal as per hour uh, meeting with the dean po ay isa lang pong removal daw po ang ibibigay. Kasi nagagalit yung mga estudyante pag early removal. Okay? Kaya isa lang po. And this is to be scheduled po. Okay? Na hindi na po yung katulad ng mga major examination na departmentalize. Okay? So, i-no-notify ko na lang po kayo as to the schedule of this removal examination. Okay? Failure to take the removal exam will mean a grade of 5. Okay? So, ang hindi po makakakuha ng removal exam, kung kayo po'y kasama doon sa magre-removal, hindi eh po'y 5 na po ang mapapalagay sa atin. Wala na po yung special exam, special removal. Okay? Isa lang pong uh, bigayan iyon. Isa lang pong schedule po iyon. Kaya po, pagkatapos po ng ng uh, finals ay hindi mo na po tayo agad magbabakasyon o kung saan agad tayo pupunta. Okay? Intindihin mo na po tayo kung tayo po ba ay kinulang ng grade at kasama tayo doon sa 70 to 74 at tayo magre-removal. Okay? So, sana po'y maliwanag po iyon. Okay? And you would be uh, the coverage of this removal example cover to cover na po iyan. Okay? So, just like yung conduct po nung atin na uh, midterms and finals, ganun pa rin po. Open tables pa rin po tayo doon. Kung hindi ko po kayo eh, allow na gumamit ng table, ibig sabihin, I will be giving the values na po as uh, given doon sa mga problem. Okay? Pero madalang naman po yung ganun. Halos lagi natin ginagamit po yung mga design tables po natin. Okay? So, if you pass this uh, removal exam, your grade would be INC over 3. If not po, it would be INC over 5. Maliwanag po ba tayo doon? Hello? Yes po, ma'am. Okay? So, sana po yung naiintindihan ng lahat. Okay? This is how you will be graded doon po sa ano natin sa huli uh, ng semester po na ito. Okay? So, tayo po yung magkausap dito ngayon during our 
uh, first meeting, okay? So, kung may tanong po tayo, meron po tayong hindi na iintindihan, itanong na po kaagad, ano, para po maliwanag po sa atin yung uh, magiging klase po natin, okay? Okay, class policies, prop and regular attendance of students is required, okay? So, to aid me po in checking the attendance, I will be asking for the help of our uh, coordinator, class coordinator, to monitor po yung ating attendance, okay? And I will be monitoring din naman po dito, okay? And also, at the end of our, ano po, uh, class po, okay? Lagi po ako nagpapa-open ng camera, okay? Just to see everybody is around, okay? And I do take po uh, pictures, okay? As a documentation of the class conduct, okay? Kaya, ayan. So, whether face-to-face -face po o kaya po ay online, so tinitingnan po natin yung attendance, okay? So, although it is not really a part of yung course grade po natin na wala po tayong nakita doon sa assessment task as yung atin na uh, attendance pero saan po yung ginagamit this is to correlate po yung in yung performance sa klase yung sa attendance so, kaya po pala laging ano kulang yung design works na kasi hindi naman po mapaso or kumaattend naman ng online kaya lang 15 minutes na wawala na Okay, so this is how we see your performance in the class, okay? O kaya pala tinatawag ko ay hindi nasagot, wala pala doon, okay? Yan, okay, so dyan po natin natitingnan yung uh, relation in yung uh, attendance with the performance po sa klase, okay? Miss exams, okay, sorry naman po yung nabanggit ko na kanina, you will not be given a special examination, kaya po, please, please po, pausap na po, okay, yung po mga mahilig po, uh, umabsentaan, okay, kung ano-ano pong dahilan, o aabay, okay, o aabay po ako dun sa aking pinsan, so, baka naman po pwede, ano na, ipagpaliba na lang muna, or magpaproxy na lamang po, okay, Yan. So that you can really take the examination. And then academic dishonesty. Okay? So any form of cheating or plagiarism is uh, a punishable by a final grade of 5. Okay? So katulad nga po nung minensyon ko kanina, open design tables po tayo. Okay? So make sure po malinis po yung uh, design tables natin na gagamitin. Okay? Walang anumang nakasulat po doon. Walang anumang nakasinit na papel doon sa design tables po natin. Okay? Yan. Ang sabi ko nga po, I can really see kung sino po yung nangopya lang. Okay? This is design at mahira po. Maaring hindi nyo naiintindihan kung paano na detect But then, I can give you po zero. Baka sabihin mo, ay, kin Ari po ay ano, kinopya ko lang naman ito dito. Bakit si Rod ako at siya ay may, may, may sagot, okay? Kasi I know kung sino yung nangopya base sa naging flow ng iyong design uh, solution, okay? And also the use of yung uh, tables and charts, okay? So mahirap naman na parehas na parehas yung basa nyo all throughout, okay? Yung buong klase pare-parehas yung nabasa natin, okay? So, malabo po mangyari yun, okay? So, there must be something wrong, kaya nangyari yun, okay? Yan. So, and then wrapping, it must be made official by accomplishing a wrapping form and submitting it to the registrar's office before the midterm exam. Okay, so kung mag-drop po tayo ng course, it should be properly uh, accomplished po doon sa registrar's office. Okay, wala po sa aming grading sheet yung, uh, yung drop po na yun. Okay, so it is only the registrar's office to do that. Okay, otherwise, kung hindi po kayo nag-drop before the midterm, you could be graded po 5. Okay? So, kung na-accomplish po natin yan sa registrar, sila po yung maglalagay ng drop na yun na po. Okay? You simply have to, uh, siguro po ay ipalam lang sa amin, being your instructor. 
And then following are the weekly tentative schedule. Okay, so makikita po natin saan yung mga topics na i-discuss per week. Okay, so you could have an advanced reading base po sa nakalagay dyan na reading list. Okay, so ayan, ito po yung sinasabi ko kanina that yung mga unang topic po, okay, these are uh, very general, okay? Wala pong tinutukoy as to what particular mechanical component. Pero when you go to this po, okay, starting with topic 4, naka-indicate na po saan anong particular uh, mechanical equipment or component. You have your shock design, case and coupling, okay? Ito po ay screws, mechanical spring. So, naka-indicate na po, okay, anong particular uh, component. So, sa design to, ganun din po, particular na po kung ano yung i-design po natin. On the latter part, you have here po, power screws and gears, okay? And then, this is yung po uh, mapping natin as to ano bang week number ito conduct yung ating assessment task, okay? So, you can check on this po. And mapping of the SOs, IGAs, CDO, doon po sa atin na uh, intended learning outcomes. Okay? Question po? Hello? Wala pa naman po. Wala pa naman. Okay. So, I think I, I have discussed everything doon sa... Uh, syllabus po natin. I think it's almost time na din. Okay? So, yung unang topic natin on the use of the design tables, that would be by tomorrow. Okay? So, again, bring with you yung apat na nabanggit ko. Okay? Sa bawat klase po natin. Yes po. Thank you po. Okay. So, I'll stop the presentation now. Uh, ito po yung i-upload ko sa classroom. Ito po ating syllabus. But then, all others po, ay kasama na po yun dun sa manual po natin at uh, yung design tables. Okay? Sinong wala dito ngayon? We are 44. 45 tayo. Tama nga, anak. Tama nga ba? 45? Oh, uh, Alma, sino wala? Yung sinasabi mo na? 4th year? Yung isa? Ang bali po, nandito po yung dalawang 4th year po. Uh, sino kayong wala? So, meaning yung kaklase mo talaga yun. Hindi ko pa na-check ulit yung, yung last listing natin kasi yung huli kong na-copy is no, ano pa lang kayo, 42. 3 hours. 42. In fact, 62 pala yung nakalagay kasi double double yung number. May glitch yung sa system. So, yung huling na na-copy ko, that's 42. So, I'll try to check ulit na maya, okay? Kasi total nyo is uh, 45, okay? So, pa-open po ako ng camera muna. I'll just take a screenshot for our documentation. Ang laboratory ay split. Ano? Roy, ang lab ang laban ay split. Alma, can you take the screenshot? Ang laban ay split. Tapos i-ano natin na i-compile natin ha. Thank you po. Okay, sige. O, oh, bilang na lang. When you see uh, mostly ay nakaka-open na or everybody nakaka-open na, you take the split shot. So, you take two shots. Okay? O, oh, smile naman yung mga iba dyan. Hindi, kahit kahit yung nabukang po sa buong engineering na lang. Population of... O, bilang anak ka para maganda ang itsura ng mga tao. Okay, um, our one, two. Is Another one, okay, yes. Our one, two. Wow, background. Okay. Yeah, standard background daw ha. Yung ah, sa mes. Sila? Yeah. Section three. Uh, oh nga. Oh, sino all mak pala ito eh? 
Okay, sige, bye. Oh, bye na pala. Yes. Rinyal, makuha. Thank you, bye. 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 Thank you, bye.